Hey everyone, welcome back while we continue our discussion on factoring polynomials. In the last video we talked about how to factor degree 2 polynomials whose leading coefficient is 1, and in this video we will talk about something called the AC method, which is a three-step method of factoring polynomials of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a does not equal to 0. The first step in this method is to find two numbers whose sum is b and whose product is a times c. Step two is to replace b by the sum of these numbers, and the third step is just to factor by grouping. We'll dive right into an example and factor the polynomial 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. In this problem, we identify our leading coefficient 3 as the letter a, and our constant term negative 2 as the letter c. a times c is then equal to negative 6. Now all we need to do is find factors of negative 6 that sum to positive 5. Go ahead and factor negative 6 in a few different ways, and then list everything out. So, we have a few different possibilities here. Negative 1 times 6, 1 times negative 6, negative 2 times 3, and 2 times negative 3. But when you run through and see what these factors sum to, we find that negative 1 times 6 is the factorization of negative 6 that we're looking for. So this concludes step 1, because we found two numbers, negative 1 and 6, whose sum is equal to b, in our case 5, and whose product is equal to a times c, which in our case is negative 6. Now moving on to step 2, we can replace 5 with the sum of factors. Once we simplify a bit, we get 3x squared minus x plus 6x minus 2. And then once we factor by grouping, we get a final factorization of x plus 2 times 3 minus x. Now let's factor the polynomial 6x squared plus 17x plus 12 by the AC method. Identify 6 and 12 as a and c respectively, find that a times c equals to 72, and then once you play around with the factors of 72, you'll find that 72 equaling to 8 times 9 give you terms that sum to b, which in our case is 17. So that's step 1. So go to step 2 and replace 17 with 8 plus 9. This then simplifies to 6x squared plus 8x plus 9x plus 12, which we can then factor by grouping to get a final answer of 2x plus 3 times 3x plus 4. In this last segment, we'll talk about a few factoring techniques in special cases. The first one is known as the difference of squares, and occurs when we have the form a squared minus b squared, which will factor as a minus b times a plus b. Let's look at an example. Consider x squared minus 25. We notice that this is equal to x squared minus 5 squared. And the difference of squares formula tells us that this factors into x minus 5 times x plus 5, and we're done. In another example, 16x squared minus 49y squared can simplify to 4x squared minus 7y squared. So the formula above will factor this into 4x minus 7y times 4x plus 7y, and we're done. Next, we'll give some formulas for the sum and differences of cubes. A cubed plus B cubed factors as A plus B times A squared minus AB plus B squared, while A cubed minus B cubed factors into A minus B times A squared plus AB plus B squared. In our first example, consider X cubed plus 27. Since this equals to X cubed plus 3 cubed, we use the sum formula above to get the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x squared minus 3x plus 9, and we're done. Lastly, look at 8t cubed minus 125. This equals 2 times t cubed minus 5 cubed. And so we appeal to the difference formula above to get 2t minus 5 times the quantity 4t squared plus 10t plus 25, and we're done. 